Hi chums, right, wood turning. This is a new toy that I saw um, last week. I think it's Frank Howarth. He does the fantastic um, woodworking videos, beautifully edited. But he used the drill wizard from one way in a video. Now, normally I have to justify everything before I buy it. But this is a situation where <clears throat> the very fact that it existed was justification enough for buying this tool. It just had to be bought. So I bought one for myself and I got one from a mate as well. It's his birthday, so I thought that's a good excuse to buy one for him as well, you know. So we had played with it last Saturday in his, or last Friday in his house. And uh, I'll tell you a few things we discovered. We didn't discover anything bad. So I'm going to show you what this is now. I'll head around to the other side of the lathe and I'll describe what's going on here, okay? So just give me a minute to turn this screen round so that I can see what's going on. Right, this is a drill wizard from One Way. And as you can see, it comes with a tool post, a one inch tool post, which is quite long. I'll come to that in a minute. So the tool post, tool post goes into the banjo. And then on top of that, there's a steel plate with uh, a collar, a metal collar with two screws for grabbing the front of a drill and that collar is attached to another, like a wall beside it and there's a handle on that that allows the drill master to go forwards and backwards okay now the travel distance forward, the maximum distance forward is about six centimeters or just about two and a quarter inches but that's more than you need because all you're going to do is be drilling small holes with this or drilling up you're very seldom going to be doing a hole two inches deep but where this is what this is what fantastic for is once you have this set up you're going to get repetitive holes at whatever angle you want them and on the base here just on this part where the drill lines up with a zero so once you've set this on the lathe you can then loosen the nut at the top and move the whole assembly around so that you can move the drill bit into any position you want. The only um, re restriction is that you're always drilling parallel to the lathe bed or in the same plane as the lathe bed. So you can drill along the bed or across it but you're always you can't drill up and down you can't you can't vary the, the the angle of the drill it's always going to be at 90 degrees to or parallel to the lathe bed so that's your drilling thing now i'm just going to show you how easy it is to put a drill in so just for for people who i've got another couple of guys who have sight issues so just to recap it's a, a moving platform on a tool post and there's a collar that holds a drill and that collar is attached to a moving a moving slide that allows the drill to move forwards and backwards with a handle and it's got a very nice movement it could do a bit of a bit of oil but it's typical one way stuff it is first class um, machining so i'm going to put the drill in now just to let you see how easy it is now, i've done this a couple of times today so i know that to get this particular drill in. Now this is just a cheapy Mac Tools drill. Um, Mac Allister, not Mac Tools, Mac Allister. It's a brand name here for one of the big box stores. And I'm sure there are a thousand dr drills like this in a different color. But it just slides in so the, the collar catches it. Then we can put the Allen bolts back on again. And it comes with two bolts, two Allen keys, one for locking the the drill in and another one for adjusting the other small just adjusting the other smaller screws so there you go folks what did that take 20 seconds to mount that drill and that's doing it in camera where everything is harder now you're going to notice something immediately whenever I, this this is a little dish a little bowl that my friend michael made and he gives me firewood and this little bowl was in the firewood and uh I hooked it out and stuck it in the lathe and trued it up just to have something to drill now. Now you're going to see immediately that this drill is away above centre. Okay, 
look at that, I'm hitting the top of the ball instead of, I should be down here, on centre. Sorry, here, it should be on centre, so I'm about, well, I'm about an inch too high. So what I'll do is, I'll get this tool post shortened, and uh, that's easy done. My mate can do that on, the, on one of his lathes, and we'll get that sorted out. But I can still demonstrate how it works. So I'm just going to move this over to the, to, to the, to the, the, the piece of work. Now just lock that down, I'll lock the drill in position. Now, I, I'll just do this hole here, right. So, there's the drill locked in position. Now I haven't come forward enough. Oh, silly boy, silly boy. Well, there's me coming forward now. I can feel the, I can feel the interference of the, the tool post on the, the cam for the, the banjo, but that'll not be a problem for long. And then I can set my depth here for whatever I want, so I don't want to go in very far. So I can set this to where about I'll set I'll set it. I'll not set it at all because I should have set it before I did that. I'll, actually, I'll show you how you set it. Right, there's it. Just pull it to the side of the work, lock it down, and then bring your drill as far as you want, but there's about half an inch, and then just wind this in until it locks off. And it can do you can do this from either side, from the front or the back. I think that's it. That's it now. That's it locked off now. So now I know it won't go any further than that inch. And then I can bring it back over in front of the work. That's it in front of the work now. Now I've got an indexing system on my lathe and the headstock. I've got 12, 24 and 36. So I'm going to do one here. And I'm just going to lock the headstock here on this hole, this particular hole here. That's the first hole. So we've locked the headstock off. The drill, the, the, the lathe is turned off at, at source. There's no, nothing I can do here now. We'll turn the lathe on. We don't want the two things going together. And then we'll just turn the, we'll turn the drill on. And that was a bad example because what I did was I I, uh, I hadn't I had a drill too far over towards the side, but we can rec we can remedy that by just moving it in slightly. And we'll see how we go now, and we'll do we'll do another hole, okay. And it does drill a really, really neat hole. And it means you're going to get a perfect hole every time. Now say for instance I wanted to do a hole. What do you see? I'll just go over to the other side and do a hole. I wanted to put a hole over there. Like say we're doing a hole at an angle for a stool, okay? And there's it. That's it locked in position for say we're doing a stool. Now it's obviously going to be over on the other side, but for demonstration purposes, this is okay. We'll just turn the lathe on. Turn the thing on. So, as I say, it's, I'm, I'm still learning how to do this and I'm getting caught out a wee bit here. But essentially you can see how it works. Um, bring it back to this side again and we'll do another hole over here. Because this is more like the way it should be used. I'll turn this right another three. One, two, three. I need to clean out, you see the wee bit of movement in the headstock there? Uh, this is not, I've never used the indexing before, so it's kind of gummed up. So I'll have to clean that out to get this done properly. But we'll do, go for another hole here. You got to tear it in the back of that one. but. With practice, you listen, that's the first three holes I've ever drilled on this, so it's not going to be perfect. But as you can see, it's it's very manoeuvrable. I have to get this lowered down on the tail stop. But I'm going to show you something else that would be of great interest to a lot of you. Um, you know that we that a lot of guys are interested in ornamental turning and using routers on lathes. Well, we do see what we've discovered. Michael had an idea the other day. And you see that there, 
just before it's closed up tight. That is perfect for holding a, the Black & Decker quarter inch router. So it means that you could put a router in here and put bits in it, whatever type fluted bits, and you could do scallops around the edge of the bowl or whatever you want to do it on. So that would really, like the possibilities would be endless then because you could do whatever you wanted. So we tried running the lathe with a router bit in, but we, we weren't, weren't doing it right because there was too much tear out for the lathe. So we tried to run the lathe very slow and that actually helped a lot. We were running the lathe too fast, so we put it down very slow and we did a few lines around the bowl with um, a router bit and it worked pretty well. But when we sewed it down, it was even better. But we think that if you were to do like take scallops and stuff around the edges, you could do a lot of very fancy stuff. So uh, that's it, folks. That's the the one way drill wizard. Um, those are available from Peter Helmsley in the toolpost.co.uk. I think most of the guys in Ireland and GB know who he is. And these come from One Way Germany. I just noticed that on the box. What do you see? If you look at the box, there's it there. You can see there, Germany. So that must be their, Euro their European base. And uh, what do you call it? It's, that's where it's coming from. So a fantastic toy, guys. And I didn't do it justice there at all because I was just drilling for the first time. But if you were to get this set up, um, and drill on a on a plane. I'm drilling in on a a bed as a, 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 I'm drilling on a tangent almost there. You know, I'm drilling on the slope, so the drill was moving about a bit. But on a flat piece of wood or something, you could do a lot of lovely stuff. If you had a flat rim, it would look really good. We did that in Michael's the other day, and it looked lovely. It looked really good. The stuff we did. So there you go, folks. Um, the drill, the drill wizard from One Way, a great toy and. If you're very good, I'm sure Santa Claus might be able to do something for you this year. Okay, that's it then. All the best now. Bye-bye.